This is Code.org. Currently, I'm working on the Accelerated Intro to CS course, and I'm on the lesson The Farmer. Let's see. Wow, I found a really big hole. I don't know how many shovelfuls of dirt I need. It needs. Can you write a program that fills it until the ground is even? Hmm. Well, so we see this. If I hit run, what do I got? Okay, so I just got this win run turn. So I have two blocks and I can use up to five and I need to get all of the dirt. Uh, well, that full. So if I can only use three blocks, I don't think three is going to do it, right? So if I just put fill three times, this isn't going to do it. We obviously want to be using the loop some way, somehow. Yep, okay. So which one? Well, repeat five times. This also isn't going to be any good to us because I don't know how many, how much dirt I need. I mean, there's five. It didn't even make a dent, right? So what if I try 10? This isn't going to be what we need at all, actually. They're trying to force us to use something new, which is good because it's, oh, whoops. I have to move forward too. Ha. I have to move forward too. All right. Now let's try if it changes it. They're trying to force us to use a new item that we got. So, what we have here is while there is a pile, no, while there is a hole. So, as long as while there's a hole, so while there's a hole, I'm going to do whatever code's in here. So, if I say move forward, if I'm standing on a hole, I'll move forward. So, I'm only going to move forward once because I'm no longer standing on a hole and that is now false. But I can also do, while there's a hole, instead of move forward, if I fill, now it's just going to keep repeating fill until there is not a hole anymore. And that is what we want to have happen. There we go. Ta-da! Awesome. Onward!